some of the surgeries that I'm doing involve uh, problems that children can be born with with the kidney. For example, a blockage of the kidney uh, that traditionally has been repaired with an open surgical technique, make, making an open larger incision. And more recently, we've utilized laparoscopy, which is to make smaller incisions and create access ports to allow the instruments to go into the abdomen and then do the repair that way. Uh, and historically, the suturing or sewing the parts back together can be quite challenging laparoscopically. The robot uh, is a perfect tool for this because it allows sewing or suturing just like one would uh, with an open technique. So uh, one example then would be correcting a blockage of the kidney. Removing a kidney is also something that we do laparoscopically. And then surgery on the bladder, uh, for example, um, children that have urinary reflux, uh, that's traditionally done with an open incision. And again, because of the need to suture, uh, the robot is something that I, I would use for this. I always start by saying open surgery or minimally invasive surgery, meaning laparoscopy or robotic surgery, the ultimate outcome of, for example, fixing the blockage is equal with either technique. Uh, which it has to be because you don't want to have a smaller incision but not as optimal an end result of, say, fixing a blockage of a kidney. Um, that being said, there's pretty clear evidence that shows that um, more uh, minimally invasive techniques such as laparoscopic techniques um, offer a faster recovery, less requirement for narcotic pain medicine, quicker release from the hospital, and then obviously the additional benefit of smaller incisions, uh, which is both a cosmetic issue and, and even uh, recovery and need for pain medicine issue. And then uh, as far as using the robot, um, to, for, for my specialty, it's basically just an, an additional tool that makes my job of doing laparoscopic surgery easier. Uh, and so uh, this facility affords me the ability to use that. First of all, you know, we make a, a small incision kind of in the belly button area, which allows you to put a camera into the abdomen to be able to see where you're operating and then by using the robot for example sewing things inside the belly in a very small space particularly in a small child uh, to do that open uh, with the traditional open surgery is challenging but but when you're talking about doing that laparoscopically you can't you know have large movements like this with your instruments there's just not enough room Whereas with the robot, the, the ends of the instruments have the ability to move, you know, in all different directions. So it allows you to sew in a very small, confined space. And then it, it controls for normal human movements uh, that would potentially make it less accurate. It corrects for those things. So that's a huge advantage. If a parent has brought their child into my office um, to be evaluated and it's determined that they need surgery, for example, on their kidney, um, what I would want that parent to know is that one of the options that's available in this community uh, is to have robotic surgery done at St. Joseph Children's Hospital by me um, because that's not a widely available option, not only in Tampa Bay, but in, in the state. St. Joseph Children's Hospital is the only hospital in the region that offers pediatric robotic surgery. That being said, as far as pediatric urologists in the region that do any kind of robotic surgery, um, I'm basically it. I mean, there's, no, there's nobody else uh, in the whole Tampa Bay area.